Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five mistakes that are really common in beginner aerials. These mistakes are really easy to fix, and if you make all five corrections, you're going to be so much closer to actually getting your aerial. If you don't know what an aerial is, it's also sometimes called a barani, a free aerial, or a no-handed cartwheel. There are lots of different aerial entrances, but the two I'm going to be focusing on today is the running hurdle entrance and the standing entrance. The first thing you want to avoid doing is bending your leg in your hurdle. I understand that many people have been taught to do it this way, it's just that when you're starting out you want to put all of your focus and power into the actual side aerial. You don't want to be thinking about when to put your foot down or how far out to step out, etc. So instead you should be hurdling with a straight leg. The second mistake to avoid is keeping your head and chest up in a takeoff. <laughs> I personally find it the most common mistake and when you fix this there is a huge difference. If your chest is up like this then you need so much more power to get your legs over the top. Instead try and enter with your body low to the ground. This is what it should look like. I've seen a lot of tutorials that teach aerials with bent arms. Taking up your arms makes it tempting to pull out of the skill. It also stops your power. You can see that if I have straight arms instead, I get a lot more arm swing and power. Twisting your hips in a side aerial is the fourth mistake. It may not be as much of a big deal in another sport, but in gymnastics it's really important to keep your hips square and finish facing the way that you came. You may find yourself doing this if you practiced cartwheels to start. An easy way to get into the habit of keeping your hips square is by looking at the ground the entire time and by practicing step-in cartwheels. The last mistake is piking down. This is an error that I struggle with a lot and generally it makes the skill harder to land properly. The two ways that I find are effective in improving this is snapping your arms up in the landing and by also focusing on getting your shoulders up. If you can apply all five of these corrections, you'll be so much closer to getting your aerial. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe. And the outfit I'm wearing today is by Kabam2. I'll link their Instagram and their website in the description below. I'll see you next time.